Good morning. I'm continuing with the respiration in plants. Uh, it's on the request of some of my viewers uh, to uh, continue with this chapter, with uh, to uh, explain this chapter. Uh, so I'm continuing with respiration in plants according to ICC syllabus class seven. Okay, uh, and uh, it's the I, I told you earlier that respiration is a process by which glucose molecules are broken down to release energy. And to why this energy is required to carry out various physical and metabolic activities. This energy is obtained from the food plant, which are autotrophs. They for, they uh, manufacture this food by photosynthesis, and the food is in, formed in the form of complex organic molecules of carbohydrates, which is the glucose molecule. Now the glucose combines with oxygen that is burns in oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water as byproduct and energy is released in the form of ATP it is stored in the plants okay now this glucose molecule is obtained from photosynthesis, oxygen is obtained from the breathing and carbon dioxide and oxygen, water which is released as byproduct, they are uh, given out of the body, of the plant body and this energy is utilized during where the carbon dioxide and water, these byproducts are given out uh, during respiration but they are utilized during photosynthesis whereas this energy is used uh, in, during other metabolic and physical activities. They are stored in the uh, body, in the plant body as adenosine triphosphate that is ATP. It is an energy rich chemical substance. One molecule of glucose is releases 38 ATP molecules which are stored in the cells which are broken down to release energy for various metabolic activities. So therefore the process of conversion of glucose in the food to energy rich ATP molecule with the help of oxygen during which carbon dioxide water are produced as byproducts is called respiration. Now the entire process of respiration occurs in two places. One is partially in the cytoplasm, the second one is partially in the mitochondria. This I am talking about the, uh, the cellular respiration. Both They are both similar in plants and animals. The respiration uh, occurs in two ways. One is aerobic, another is anaerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration takes place in the presence of oxygen, whereas anaerobic takes place in the absence of oxygen. Aerobic respiration complete, there is a complete oxidation of glucose molecule. In anaerobic respiration, there is incomplete oxidation. Aerobic respiration, 38 ATP molecules are released from one glucose molecule oxidation, whereas in anaerobic respiration, two ATP molecules are released from one molecule of ox uh, glucose oxidation. Then aerobic respiration end products are carbon dioxide and water, whereas anaerobic respiration end products are ethyl alcohol and carbon dioxide. Anaerob aerobic respiration occurs mostly in higher plants and animals, whereas in anaerobic respiration in lower organisms like bacteria. Now, uh, there is very similar, this respiration is very similar to combustion. When a wood is burned, that is combustion. Why it is so? Uh, here also we can see that oxygen is required for the burning. Then carbon dioxide is also given out. Energy is also given out after uh, combustion. But energy is in the form of heat and light. So what is the difference between uh, respiration and combustion? Respiration occurs in living cells, combustion occurs in non-living cells. Respiration takes place at room temperature, combustion takes place at higher temperatures. Respiration is a slow process, combustion is fast process. Energy is released in several steps and stored as ATP in respiration. Combustion energy is released in the form of heat and light. Now respiration in respiration, enzymes are involved. Combustion, no involvement of enzymes. Respiration, conversion of, conversion of carbohydrates to carbon dioxide and water. 
occurs in many steps in combustion carbon dioxide and water are produced in one step now respiration of plants occurs in different every part of the plant they are mainly uh, occurs more in the growing actively growing regions of the plant but we can see that this respiration in plant occur through stomata or the lenticels but in animals we can see there is a some specialized organs are there like lungs skin okay but in uh, plants i told you that it occurs through stomata or lenticels in plants it is very slow process than animals in plants the gases move entirely by the process of diffusion leaves have many pores stomata these are called the pores are called stomata which provide the greater surface area for the gases exchange now i told you that it occurs in every part of the plant respirations i will discuss with the respiration through leaves now now the leaves and the young green stems they have pores that is the stomata on them and the gases exchange takes place through the stomata the stomata are found more in the lower surface of the leaves and in case of respiration carbon dioxide is given out and oxygen and water vapor is taken in okay through the stomata okay now uh, now uh, this stomata each stomata how does this happen each stomata they have bean shaped uh, guard cells two bean shaped guard cells they have their thicker walls inside and outer walls are thin walled okay and when they are full filled with water that is turgid condition then what happens the stomata opens and the gases exchange takes place and when they lose water they become flaccid and the stomata closes then no there is no exchange of gases takes place okay this is the how the close uh, closing and opening of the stomata takes place now the respiration through stems how does this occur in certain trees and old mature mature roots in certain trees old and mature roots and hardy stems hard woody stems they have uh, they are covered with bark this bark is impervious to gases and water so but within the layers of the bark they have very tiny openings which are called lenticels they look scars they look like scars on the bark they are slightly more raised than the general surface of the stem that's why it is visible to us okay at the base of this lenticels there are loosely arranged cells which allow this diffusion of gases so the respiration takes place through the stems in this through this lenticels that is oxygen uh, uh, gets to reach this intercellular spaces of the inner 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 tissues and carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere now the respiration through the roots respiration through the roots also occurs in plants like in soil particles they have some spaces loosely packed the soil particles they have air in them and in this air contains oxygen now this oxygen is absorbed by the root hairs which are present on the roots by diffusion that the root hairs also releases the carbon dioxide again by diffusion now what happens with the plants which are growing in salty water they cannot the roots cannot uh, breathe uh, this in this salty water so they have some specialized roots which come out of the soil and these soil these roots are known as pneumatophores okay they grow on the uh, out of the surface of the water they have numerous pores on them and they respire through these pores now i told you that respiration and photosynthesis these two are the opposite processes the in exchange the exchange of gases in animals they take place in one kind like oxygen is taken in and carbon dioxide is given out this occurs in animals but in plants they have two processes both are biochemical the one is photosynthesis another is respiration in photosynthesis carbon dioxide is taken in oxygen is given out in respiration just the opposite occurs oxygen is taken in carbon dioxide is given out okay now 
the difference between photosynthesis and respiration food is uh, prepared here with the using carbon dioxide and water respiration food uh, is oxidized broken down whereas uh, to release energy using carb oxygen for photosynthesis occurs in autotrophs respiration in autotrophs and heterotrophs both photosynthesis occurs in green plants having chlorophyll respiration occurs in mitochondria of all the cells of the plant photosynthesis during daytime it occurs respiration can happen during day and night both photosynthesis requires carbon dioxide and water respiration requires glucose and oxygen the by product of photosynthesis is oxygen respiration by product is carbon dioxide and water photosynthesis captures energy and stores in stool and stores in the sugar this energy is stored in the sugars whereas in respiration this really this uh, sugar is broken down to release the energy okay the respiration in animals and plants the difference between the respiration in plants and animals okay in animals oxygen is taken in through lungs and in plants the respiration uh, oxygen is taken in through the leaves of the stomata and green stem and lenticels in the woody stem and general surface in the roots respiration in animals carbon dioxide is the by product and is re released not taken back whereas in respiration in plants carbon dioxide is a by product as it is also released but reabsorbed during photosynthesis respiration in animals food that is glucose and oxygen for respiration taken out taken from outside whereas in respiration in plants glucose and oxygen for respiration produced by the plant themselves that as they are autotrophs in respiration in animals the rate of respiration is very fast whereas respiration in plants the rate of respiration is very slow so we come to the end of respiration chapter i'll discuss some question and answers on this respiration chapter also uh, in my next video okay and if you have any doubt or any questions any uh, thing you want to know please let me know in my uh, email id or you can comment it also and please do subscribe so that you can get my notification of my next video thank you